The Wisconsin State Journal reported that Badgers quarterback Graham Mertz tested positive for COVID-19. He led the Badgers to a win against the Illini on Friday, but the team later responded, releasing a statement that said none of the Wisconsin athletes or staff had a positive antigen test heading into Friday's game. Illinois also said they had no positive results, but plenty of other concerns for the Illini in Madison. The offense didn't score a single point, even with eight returning starters on the offense and several new weapons. Second-year quarterback Brandon Peters completed just eight of 19 passes. Last year's leading receiver Josh Bebe had just three receptions, and they held onto the ball for just 16 minutes. Never got in the rhythm with our passing game. I mean, a running game can help that an awful lot, but I thought we had some moments where there were you know, as we go forward, we got to be able to complete more passes than that. Simple as that. I mean, Josh Bay Bay is a heck of a receiver. We've got to be able to get the ball to our tight ends more. The Illini were also 0 for 3 on fourth down conversions. They didn't make it into the Wisconsin red zone either. And redshirt freshman Isaiah Williams got thrown into the quarterback rotation on Friday to try and get things going. It was the most snaps he's taken in his college career. Even Brandon Peters said he was surprised with the amount of playing time that Williams got. It caught me a little bit off guard um, coming into the game. It was only supposed to be like three or four plays, but you know. Again, like I said, you got to do what the coaches want, and, you know, roll with the punches. Isaiah's done some good things in practice, and, uh, you know, the first game, you kind of want to see what you have. Um, it's just kind of tough duty when you come in like that, but um, first bit of action for him, you know, that's the start. Williams was 0 for 3 in Madison, throwing a pick in the fourth quarter. But